What is DNA fingerprinting or DNA profiling? Leicester University geneticist Alec Jeffries developed a technique called DNA fingerprinting in 1985. It allows DNA samples from different people to be compared to look for similarities and differences. It's used for solving crimes and can also confirm if people are related to each other, like in paternity testing. Any two people in the world have 99.9% .9 of their DNA the same. So this process analyzes the differences in the remaining 0.1%. This modern technology is called DNA profiling. It's a very sensitive technique which only needs a few skin cells, a hair root, or a tiny amount of blood or saliva. There are sections, or loci, of chromosomes, where instead of a gene consisting of a long sequence of bases, there are much shorter sequences of three, four, or five bases that are repeated many times. For example, these repeated sequences are called short tandem repeats, or STR. At these places on the chromosomes where we find these STRs, there are areas that vary in number of repeats. DNA profiling only looks at these STRs. A cell sample is collected. This could be from some blood at a crime scene, or a swab from the inside of someone's cheek, for example. The DNA is then extracted from the sample. Many copies of this DNA may be made using the polymerase chain reaction, or PCR. Special enzymes called restriction endonucleases are used to cut the DNA up into different size pieces. The DNA samples are then put into wells in a special gel called agarose for the process of gel electrophoresis, which separates the DNA fragments by size. The pattern is then transferred to a nylon sheet in southern blotting. And finally, the lines produced by the DNA samples from different people are compared. So let's have a go at using DNA profiles to solve some mysteries. An item was stolen in a burglary. A drop of blood was left behind by the thief. Samples of DNA were taken from four suspects and compared to the sample left at the crime scene. Which suspect is guilty? Here's a clue. Look for the one that is most similar to the one from the crime scene. Pause the video while you decide. Suspect 3 is guilty. Can you see how the pattern of bands matches in Suspect 3 and the crime scene? Their DNA is the same. Let's try another. A soldier has been killed in an explosion and has lost his dog tags that identify him. Three soldiers are missing from their unit so the army asks the three sets of parents for a DNA sample so that they might compare it to the soldier's DNA and therefore make an identification. Remember, the soldier will only share half of his DNA with each parent. So which set of parents is the soldier the son of? Pause the video while you decide. Parents C and D. As you can see, he inherited the first band from parent D and the second, third, and fourth from parent C, and so on. So now you understand how DNA profiles or fingerprints are made and seen some examples of where they can be used. You can even interpret a DNA profile. 